Let's start, shall we? Django REST framework lets you authenticate your user in different ways. It has built-in basic authentication, session authentication. Uh, you can also leverage token authentication. They call it like DRF auth token. Besides, it has remote authentication, custom authentication, or blah, blah, blah. Well, the JWT authentication is one of the greatest uh, packages they have. I mean, they don't have it uh, built in, but you can use this JWT authentication as a package. So when you have it ready, when you have it installed, then you can leverage the JWT authentication. So in this video, we are going to talk about the JWT authentication and we'll see like how it works and you know, uh, we'll see the coding as well, uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, the Juice library, on the other hand, um, has some built-in features. Uh, we can also have this Juice library alongside with JWT authentication. Uh, it, ha it has really powerful features in it, so I have used it in my uh, recent projects, and it is really nice. We will talk about this Juice library in the next, maybe in next videos. If you really want to know about the Juice library, then please comment below and let me know that you also want to know the Juice library about. However, now it is all about JW authentication. So let's let me move to the next uh, slide where I can explain how this JW authentication works and how it differs from the token authentication or maybe from the basic authentication. See, so the basic authentication. Let's say you have this view, the basic authentication, and you want to get something uh, from this database. So what are you going to do? You're going to send this credential uh, to this uh, server side, and the server side or this guard, I would say checks this username and password against this database and if it is okay then you know um, you get data from your the, from the database right but the problem is every time if you want anything from this database you need to send this username to and password to this girl that's the problem right i mean this is not a good idea i think and it is it is inefficient i would say so we don't really recommend um to use this thing to use this basic authentication for the production i would say so what about this token authentication then so this token authentication is also called uh, drf auth token um so when you have this uh, installed or let's say when you have this injected in your project what happens it creates a table um, on inside this database which is called I think token table yeah so, so I'm sending this username and password to this um, you know to this GERD and this GERD will check this username and password against this database let's say you are okay and now what happens this time this time a token gets generated inside this database and inside the table named token so this token gets generated and then it it is sent back to this user so now you are authenticated so when you are authenticated this time if you want anything from this database you don't send username and password instead you send this token to this guard and this guard will check this token against this database or let's say the database table so every time you send this token to get anything to get you know to fetch the data from the database this will be checked against the database mm. so that's a problem right it's not a problem to be honest but well that's the way it is so that is token authentication and the token authentication has a, a like an unusual feature i would say the token authentication uh, has like lifeline lifetime expiry date you know like so uh, this token never gets expired so once it's created it just stay in the database so um, unless you you know locks out or unless you delete it you know so so yeah so that's the token authentication and the JWT authentication I would say a little bit better than the token authentication because what happens I'm gonna keep it over here okay so one more time the username and password i'm sending it to the guard it is getting checked against the database let's say i'm okay this time i will be sent a token as well but this time this token is not populated from the database what happens behind the scene when my credentials are okay the token gets generated against a private key 
which is preferably stored in the server side. So this token is, seeing, is getting generated against the private key, not in the database. So after, you know, this being generated, this will be sent to me and then every time I want to get anything from the database, I will send this token and this token will be checked uh, or validated you could say against this private key. So this token never gets checked by the database. So this is much more faster and efficient way. That's it. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Okay. I'm losing my token. Let me put it here. And so now you know this uh, token thing and this uh, JWT authentication and all that. So we would like to go to the Visual Studio code. But before you know going there, let me show you another thing. So this JWT authentication, you know, it helps in some other ways too. So you know that when you uh, send requests from the front end, you need to create like views dot pi serializer dot pi or urs dot pi uh, in your project right but when you have this jwt authentication installed or like you know when you use this package you don't need to create these urls views or either serializer dot pi they all come um, with a package you know so you have this like ready made or something you, you could say but now let's move into the uh, you know visual code and uh, we will do some coding over there and let's see how JWT works and how we can install JWT. First of all what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, create we're gonna install so let's say pip install Django rest framework simple JWT remember you are installing Django REST framework simple JWT, not Django REST framework JWT. So just for the clarification, so I'm using Django REST framework simple JWT. Um, so in the settings file, we'll be using this. Um, and as I was saying, there is another one called Django REST framework JWT. So in the settings file, you need to use this. I will show this, don't worry about it. Let me install this. I think it's already been installed. I mean, I already have it installed, so it's not going to install anything. It's saying, it's saying like requirement already satisfied. But for you, it's going to install with no issue for sure. So once it's installed, you're going to go to the. I think this is the main directory of my project, so that's called inventory. So I'm going to go there. I mean, it's going to be different um, for you for sure. So go to the settings file. That's the main setting file, um, and I would like to show you something. Well, that's the guide uh, how we can do it. So pip install, we have done this part already. I'm going to copy this um, and I will go to my code. Let me minimize a little bit. I'm going to put it over here. So I don't need this. I don't need this either. And I don't need this either. So rest framework simple jot dot authentication dot JWT authentication. Okay, so that's that's what I was saying. So REST framework, symbol jot authentication, JWT authentication. But if you're using this framework, I mean, sorry, if you're using this uh, this one, this package, then the settings.py says the different thing. Look at this. This is a little bit different from this one. Okay. So now, once this ready, uh, I can go back and uh, I can copy this. But before copying this, I would like to go to another view, which is this. So. I want to have this time delta thing so I can put it on the top why not so here and then maybe here I can have this simple jot thing so the, these are the like little settings you don't need all of them you know access time token lifetime it says refresh token lifetime algorithm signing key and all the things uh, author header types it's gonna be like bearer uh, author header name is going to be HTTP authorization and all that thing. You really don't need a lot of things. Um, you know, all of them you can you know cancel it. I'm not going to have all of these. You can have it if you want to. So let's say, yeah. So let's keep it like this. Okay. So <coughs> access token lifetime is going to be five minutes, as you can see. Okay. 
so that's fine uh, so i have this rest framework ready i have this simple jot ready jot, but i don't know, have this all of this so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and you know cancel these uh, just to uh, keep it simple for the time being so let's save it i'm gonna go to the urls and okay so you have to grab this so look at this those two views are given by the symbol jot and I will have these two paths ready I mean the URLs so also being ready for us so here we go the views ready by the symbol jot the path being you know given by the simple jot I had to do nothing actually so that's all done I guess uh, now what I can do I can go to the postman and HTTP localhost let me take one of those you know previously used okay so API so that's gonna be like API token right so API token oops sorry so this API token yeah so I'm, we're gonna hit this uh, it's gonna be like the post method body uh, in the body we can send uh, data we're gonna select this X WW form unreloaded um, so we can say email monitor at gmail.com and let's say we have the password is gonna be let's say monitor at one two three four five six so you may might be wondering like what how I have this email and password and all these things let me go to the database because I have already s set a database on Postgres so this is the email and this is the password I think somewhere around this is hashed so you can see it so yeah this is already set up so since I have everything ready over here so I can go get back to the Visual Studio code and run my server so Python manage.py run server if everything is okay then it's gonna run okay looks okay now we're gonna hit I'm hitting and it gives me the access token as you can see right now since we have this access token we wanna retrieve a data let's say let's say we have this uh, user detail or something we're gonna send um, we're gonna send a like get request so and it says authentication credentials were not provided so it is asking our authentication detail or let's say the access token so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually go to authorization from here I will say bearer token uh, let me show because it says auth header type is bearer so you need to see like that and now here is the token part you need to you know provide the access token over here so let me go ahead and have this access token from here copied I'm gonna put it over here and now if we send a request it gives me the details as you can see the user detail is here how about I'm gonna change this a little bit like I wanna temper this let's say I wanna replace this E with Q something like that and now if I wanna if I send this it says given token not valid for any token type token not valid token classes access token blah 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 let me put this back that was e right yeah so yeah i'm getting this token back this simple jot is pretty easy um all you have to do you have to you know go for this um, little setting over here have it installed and make your life easy well, thank you very much. Um, hit the like button and subscribe my channel. And if you want to know anything, um, anything in particular, then uh, let me know in the comment section so that I can make more videos uh, like this. Thank you once again. Bye bye.